This is going to be a white chocolate matcha brownie. Now, the white chocolate, we're using a very good white chocolate, and we're going to glaze these brownies with a matcha topping. And matcha is like the rage right now in cooking and in health foods, and I'll talk about that a little bit later. It's a, it's a type of a green tea powder, but it's health-wise, it's just wonderful for you. So I'm going to start with the white chocolate, and I've got a bowl over a pot of simmering water, and I'm going to add one stick or eight tablespoons of butter. It's soft, as you can see, very soft. And to that, I'm going to add eight ounces of good quality chocolate. And I'm using a really good quality chocolate here. And when you're cutting chocolate in a block like this, the best thing to do, of course, is to use a serrated knife. And this is actually nine ounces of chocolate. So I'm going to put in about eight, and I'm gonna hold back about an ounce, and I'm just gonna throw them into the brownies later. You could use white chocolate bits if you want to, but don't use those real cheap ones. I mean, if you're gonna make a brownie and you're gonna take in those calories, take in some good ones. Don't eat the junk stuff. Anyway, here we go. Okay, so I'm gonna guesstimate it. And all I'm going to do is melt this butter and this chocolate together until it's nice and smooth. And then I'm gonna let it cool down and I'll set it aside and we'll proceed with the rest of the brownie. So, let's go with that. And I'll put that aside and we'll just wait until this melts. So our white chocolate and our butter are melted together. Nice and smooth. And what we're gonna do now is I'm just gonna put this aside and I'm gonna get rid of my pan and my hot plate and get my mixer out and we'll finish the rest of the brownies. Now we're gonna go mix our brownie batter together. I have one and a quarter cups of flour, a three quarters of, whoops, three quarters of a teaspoon of salt, I've got a third of a cup of sugar, two whole eggs, vanilla, which I'm gonna use one tablespoon. I've got the rest of the melted chocolate and those few chocolate bits that I chopped up. And here I have a, a nine inch square baking pan that I buttered and floured generously. And my oven is heating to 350 degrees. So we're going to start with the eggs. And break those up. And I'll slowly add in our sugar. And then a tablespoon of my homemade vanilla. It's a whole tablespoon, it's not a teaspoon in here. White chocolate and the vanilla go very well together. So I like a lot of vanilla. Is our melted chocolate and our few chocolate bits. You can add, if you don't want to add any, you can add white chocolate bits. You could add mini chocolate chips to this too if you want to, but I'm trying to keep it all white chocolate because we're gonna put that matcha glaze on it and that has a very distinct flavor. Okay, that's pretty well mixed up. I'm gonna add in the white chocolate. And give that a little mix. if you're a white chocolate fan. I am a white chocolate fan. I am not a fan of that fake white chocolate, but real white chocolate is good. Okay, add that in. Get that mixed up. So 
so far it's a very easy brownie batter. And these are going to go into that 350 degree oven for 30 to 35 minutes. I'll add in that little bit of white chocolate that I have. Give that a stir. Now get it into our pan. Very, very simple. Brownies are not a difficult thing to make, but there's so many things that you can do with them to dress them up and make them into something spectacular. And who doesn't love a brownie? Push it into the corners, make it nice and even. Into the oven. See you in 35 minutes. Here's our white chocolate matcha brownies. Well, they're not matcha yet. They're just white chocolate brownies. And they're cool to room temperature, easy handle. I'm going to turn them out on a board because what I'm going to do is I'm going to glaze it and the glaze is going to fall all over the place. And then I'm going to let it sit until it sets. And then I'll cut them up after the uh, glaze is set. So I'm going to put those aside for a moment and start on the matcha frosting. I love that matcha. Okay, this is one and a half cups of confectioner's sugar. And this is going to be the matcha powder and I'm going to need two teaspoons of it. Look at that color, that intense green tea color. And you'd say, well, why do you want to use matcha and why is it so good? Well, I did some research on it. And according to my research, and I have to read this because I couldn't remember all of it, matcha is packed with antioxidants. It boosts metabolism and burns calories. So you eat a brownie and you burn calories at the same time. Sounds good to me. Detoxifies effectively and naturally, calms the mind and relaxes the body, rich in fiber, chlorophyll, and vitamins, enhances mood and aids in concentration, provides vitamin C, selenium, chromium, zinc, and magnesium, prevents disease, and lowers cholesterol and blood sugar. Sounds like a winner. So it's gonna be a weird green color frosting. Okay, that's all mixed up. And now I just need like a couple of tablespoons of milk, maybe more, I don't know, it depends upon if it comes into a glaze, that's nice. Definitely needs more. So there's three. I'm going to put four in. Okay, now we're looking a little bit more like a glaze. Although, maybe just a touch more. It's going to do it. So that was four and a half tablespoons. Although I did it a couple of weeks ago when it was two and a half. Okay. Bring back our brownies and put on our glaze. This is a heavy, awkward bowl. Just gonna spread it. I'm only covering the top, although it will drip down the sides, which is, that's okay. And later on, as I said, after it sets, I will cut them into I think I'll cut these into fingers, long, narrow.
white chocolate brownies with matcha glaze. They're really good. The flavor combination is terrific. I hope you try it. And especially since they have all these health benefits. Try it.